like your weapon isn't quite doing it for you? Perhaps it can't manage both melee and long-range combat, or doesn't deal enough damage to defeat enemies quickly? Today, we'll introduce two of the most popular assault rifles in the Dark Zone, and show you how to make the best of both of them. The M4A1 is one of the best assault rifles in the Dark Zone, with huge potential for modification. If you're willing to make the investment, it can be transformed into one of the most powerful weapons in the game. The M4A1 isn't available right from the start. Once your character reaches level 19, you can get it from the contact Thomas Edward. Some militants in the armory are also equipped with it. Of course, it can also be obtained by searching premium weapons cases or purchased from the market. The M4A1 has a high rate of fire of 800 rounds per minute and an effective range of 91 meters, giving it a strong advantage in mid-range combat. Among the 556 45mm ammo it uses, the most common type is the M855 with Class 3 penetration and the M855A1 with Class 4 penetration. Both bullets have high armor piercing capability and cause significant damage. They're effective even against operators equipped with Class 4 or 5 armor. Of course, if your budget allows, it's worth carrying M995 bullets with Class 5 penetration. However, they deal less damage and are not efficient for eliminating bots. The default M4 stats are nothing exceptional, so most players tend to use a slightly modified version. For example, the default stock can be replaced with a lightweight carbine variant. Swap out the handguard for one compatible with the front grip, lose the basic sights for any one-time scope, and add a suppressor or flash suppressing muzzle, depending on personal preference. Once modified in this way, the M4A1 performs well in mid-range, and the overall investment isn't too high. If you've got the coin, consider combining a 4 times holographic and triangle reflex sight, installing a special AR handguard with a tilted front grip or a lightweight vertical front grip, and combining the best AR extended tube, carbine industrial stock, and carbine recoil pad that you can. For a complete overhaul, you can also install an AR short gas block, an industrial AR rear grip, a 556 suppressor, and a quick laser pointer. Depending on the map, you can also choose to install a long barrel to increase effective range. For the magazine, we recommend using at least one 60-round magazine to ensure you can maintain suppressive momentum. If you follow our general outline, the M4A1 has virtually no weaknesses and can cope with any combat scenario. A fully modded M4A1 performs well in mid- and close-range combat. But for indoor battles, it just doesn't have the violence of action a submachine gun or shotgun provides. Players must be familiar with the terrain and use cover effectively to gain the advantage when kitted out with an M4A1. The FAL is an advanced assault rifle with high versatility. It has high accuracy and a good effective range. Plus, it uses powerful 762 by 51 mm ammo. The FAL has huge modification potential and can be paired with various high-level accessories to greatly improve its performance. The FAL isn't that difficult to obtain. It can be purchased from Randall Fisher and Contacts, and some Northridge gang members and Armory bots also use partially modded FALs. The FAL has the longest effective range and highest accuracy of any assault rifle. Its 762 by 51 mm bullets are powerful enough to deal with most threats and affords an obvious advantage in mid-range gun battles. The most commonly used bullets are the BPZ with Class 3 penetration and the M80 with Class 4 penetration. If you have the funds, you can use the Class 5 M62 ammo or the even better Class 6 M61 ammo. The OEM FAL iron sight is not the easiest to use. Add any one-time scope to significantly improve your ability to aim, making the FAL manageable on most maps. But it's still a beast to tame while holding sustained fire. Once your budget allows, we suggest using a partially modded FAL. Firstly, replace the rear grip to improve ergonomics, then swap out the stock for better recoil control. Next, replace the handguard with a FAL front handguard and install a more cost-effective front grip. 
Finally, add a laser to improve hipfire stability. These modifications will make it much easier to fire the weapon, allowing it to deal with mid- and close-range combat scenarios, such as the Northridge Hotel or the Armory Interior. Naturally, for the FAL to give full play to its range advantages, it should be fully modded. Use the FAL adapter to connect an AR extended tube to the stock. Then install a carbine industrial stock and recoil pad. Use a lightweight front grip and a green laser. Then fit the muzzle with the flash suppressor adapter and a 762 lightweight suppressor. Finally, combine a 4 times holographic and triangle reflex sight to hone the FAL for long-range combat. Some even choose to replace the handguard once the FAL is fully modded and adapt its short barrel. This sacrifices range and accuracy, but improves flexibility. The weapon's long body makes jamming when fighting indoors a major concern, so you should always maintain a suitable distance in indoor combat to avoid this. The ADS speed of a fully modded FAL is also relatively low. On the whole, these two rifles have weak default stats, but they're very good weapons once fully modded. Due to high modification costs, you'll need to choose carefully whether they're suitable for you. Which weapons do you want to learn about in the next episode? Let us know in the comments. We wish you all the best in the Dark Zone, and look forward to seeing you next time.